Sometimes it's easier to understand something if we can see a diagram. Since there seem to be so many possibilities for verbs, objects, complements, etc., let's put it in a graphic format that makes sense, and we'll call it the verb tree. We start simply with the notion that every sentence needs a verb. Those verbs will be either linking or action. You could have a helping verb, but remember that helping verbs have to attach themselves to the main verb, whether linking or action. Let's look at the linking branch first. If you have a linking verb, it will be followed by one of two things. Either a predicate nominative or predicate noun or a predicate adjective. Remember that the predicate noun renames the subject and the predicate adjective describes the subject. That's the extent of the linking branch. On the other side, there are a few more limbs. Let's take a look. You start with an action verb. It can be either intransitive or transitive. If it's intransitive, it's complete by itself. But remember that often an intransitive verb will be followed by a prepositional phrase. Because the prepositional phrase isn't necessarily there, we're going to just put it in parentheses to remind ourselves. Don't be tricked into thinking that the object of the preposition is a direct object. Intransitive verbs are complete by themselves. If your verb is transitive, it must have a direct object. It's a necessary component. If there's a direct object, it may be preceded by an indirect object. Not all sentences that have transitive verbs have indirect objects. So we'll put that in parentheses as well. If the indirect object is there, however, it's after the transitive verb but before the direct object. Sometimes the direct object will have what's called an object complement. And again, this is not a necessary component. Sometimes they're there, sometimes they're not, so we'll put that in parentheses. But if there is an object complement, it will only be one of two things, either the, a noun or pronoun, or an adjective. That completes the tree.